Welcome Pisces to your weekly reading. This is for the 8th to the 15th of January. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Pisces, I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. I will then go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Pisces, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. Right, let's see what's coming in, Pisces. The first message you are getting is truth, so we know, Pisces, that this week, you are going to be receiving a very deep truth. This could be something that you have been wondering about. Maybe you've been waiting to get clarity or an answer on something, or perhaps there is just something that makes itself known to you this week that is of utmost importance. The next message you're getting is the gibbous moon energy. You're very close to achieving your goal. This is wonderful to see because it lets me know, Pisces, that whatever you have been working towards, putting in the time, the hours and the effort, you are very close to achieving something substantial. With our core messages, there are times that they relate to separate areas of your life and then there are other times we get one cohesive message. It just depends on how the reading plays out. Let us start off here with our truth energy and I'm just going to get your clarifiers. So we want to see now what this truth message is for Pisces, please. Right, we'll start there. Our first energy is Nine of Swords. King of Wands and the Sun. I see what I'm seeing here is you have been very anxious and worried about something. And I think it's because you didn't know the answer. You didn't know what actually happened. You didn't know the truth, the crux of the matter. And this unknown energy has caused Nine of Swords energy, which is the energy of anxiousness, worry, stress, sleepless nights, nightmares, and they could even be a low level of depression. This will vary for all my Pisces. But it's the energy of not knowing that caused our Nine of Swords energy. What I see happening this week my dear Pisces, is that somebody representing as King of Wands is coming in. Now, this could be a masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. This king is very dynamic. He is innovative. He's a visionary. He always makes a plan. This is the king that doesn't take no for an answer. He feels that there is always possibility and he sets about finding answers and solutions. This person is coming in this week, my dearest Pisces, and whatever they are coming in with, with this truth energy, what happens is they are able to put this nine of swords behind you and put you into the sun energy. And the sun is the happiest, most positive card of the deck. They're going to shed light on a situation or a relationship. They're going to put everything beautifully into perspective for you. They are going to give you a very deep and meaningful truth that you are now able to just take a deep breath, relax into it, and then the sun energy comes in. And the sun is letting me know you're moving into the energy of feeling joy, happiness, positivity and inspiration for what's to come. 
So this is a very positive energy. And remember, my dear Pisces, this King of Wands could be a friend, a romantic partner, a boss, a colleague, a business partner. It could be anybody. But they come in with some real substantial insights and information that shifts you to the sun energy. Very nice to see. Now let us see what our gibbous moon energy, you are very close to achieving your goal, is all about and I will just get your clarifiers. So we just want to see now what this gibbous moon energy is for Pisces. We have got the chariot, the page of wands, and the five of pentacles. Pisces, I feel this energy is quite different to our truth energy. I feel with five of pentacles, you might be in a stage now with a certain goal or a certain dream where you are feeling that this is never going to happen. I've put in so much time, I've put in so much effort, but it's not happening. I'm going to have to give up. This is the energy of feeling out in the cold, unseen, unloved, unappreciated. And I think there might be a certain area where you have started to feel like it's just never going to happen for me. I might as well throw in the towel and just accept that I'm going to be in this energy alone, sad and unsupported in this particular area of my life. However, you're being told, my dear Pisces, not to give up just yet because you are just about to achieve your goal. You know how many times, my dear Pisces, people just give up just before the finish line and this is what I'm seeing here. Don't give up, you're right there. Chariot is coming in and telling me now, things are now happening. Things are going to pick up for you. Things are going to start moving fast for you. We're in an eight year and eight is a very fast moving year. There's going to be a speed that wasn't there previously. The chariot, as you can see with our horses, they're not walking or trotting into the future. They are galloping at a very fast pace. And as you can see with our chariot rider, he has a shocked look on his face. Pisces, I think you're going to get quite shocked this week at how energy is now moving and picking up. You're not going to be in this energy very long. You're going to realize, my gosh, I'm here. I'm at the end. I'm just before the finish line. Here I go. Chariot tells me once you ride this momentum, you're going to meet with success. And with that success, you enter into the new year feeling ready, feeling inspired, feeling motivated, feeling like you're able to begin something, something new that is associated with this goal. You know, this could be the energy of finding a new job, starting a new business, moving to a new city or relocating to a new country. It could be the energy of looking for a significant romantic partner. You take it as it resonates. The big message is you are close to achieving your goal. Keep going. Don't give up now. You're there, my dear Pisces, and you are ready to embrace whatever comes your way. What a strong and encouraging message. Let's move on now and see what your angels would like to share with you for this week. So we want to see now what Pisces angels would like to share, please. And your message is, within the next few weeks. My dearest Pisces, within the next few weeks, you are going to see the big difference of shifting out of Nine of Swords into the Sun. Can you see the difference in this energy? 
from stress, worry, nightmares, sleepless nights, to sheer bliss and joy. The energy of wanting to give up before the finishing line and then crossing the finishing line with speed and success ready for what's coming in. This is going to manifest over the next few weeks, but it begins now. So my dear Pisces, work with these incredible positive messages that have come through and don't give up because you are about to see an incredible transformation come in for you. So that is all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.